so I'm not able to do a full punch on the parallel bars yet. I just don't know how to engage the muscles, the right muscles to do the movement. On the floor it's a different story. For some reason it's easier to do it on the floor than parallel bars. This was pretty much my first ever Maltese on the ground in my life. And I'm really happy about this. Uh, here I'm showing it to a gymnast which is uh, looking at me on the, on the right side. And Maltese is done on the rings usually. He's telling me that I'm somewhere between a plunge and a Maltese. So I just need to practice more, you know. Uh, One, here I'm doing a two, very sloppy three, form, very four, ugly form. Five, uh, <laughs> straddle seven, plunge eight, on parallel bars for 12 nine, seconds. It's still a record. Um, I'm still getting better and stronger. And now in the next video, you will see me actually... Here I go into a uh, handstand. And the descents from the handstand into a straddle plunge are feeling much easier than before. I can actually control it now. And here's a little <laughs> V-sit at the end. Alex is encouraging me to do a mana from this position, but mana is totally different from uh, V-sit. Uh, it re requires different technique. Here we're doing some jumps, playing around. I had intentions of breaking my uh, previous record, and and I did. This was the previous record right there, and I did it. It felt alright, but adding one more mat on top makes all the difference. Makes it so much harder to do. Here you can see Marco, and he's doing this jump effortlessly. Marco definitely got lots of power in his legs and the way he achieved it is by doing heavy squats 350 pounds for 5 repetitions he was able to do um, and also he does lots of sprinting here he explains to me his size of his legs <laughs> is massive <laughs> here's me trying it again let's see uh, almost there, almost there, but not quite So that's about uh, how many inches is that? Can, oh yeah, 50, 58 inches. Okay, 58 and a half. Nice, man. Here, me and Alex are just going for an L sit for time, and you can see that our techniques are a bit different. My butt is pushed more backwards, and this actually makes it a bit easier for me to hold the position. Alex, on the other hand, is bending his elbow slightly and he's pushing his hips forward, which is a bit harder to do. And you can see him struggling here, and he's going to give up uh, right about now. His legs started cramping and that's why he stopped. Uh, to prevent that, just train more. <laughs> Anyways, if you have any questions, just make sure to ask me. Um, and if you like this video, please make sure to like, share and subscribe.